Hi, and welcome to this video on territory management. Territory management is the ability to share your customer accounts among your sales team based on geographic location, product lines, the size of the account, or the industry. The main benefits of territory management include the ability to manage a complex sales structure, advanced forecasting, resource planning, and better market coverage. For example, if you are part of an organization with regional sales teams with different forecasting goals for each segment, territory management is highly recommended. It is important to plan out your territory criteria and set goals. Use the territory management feature to demarcate the territories, decide on which sales teams will be in charge of each one, and set them up. Once the setup is complete, use the reporting and forecasting modules to monitor sales performance and realign and edit the territories if necessary. Let's get started. Navigate to Setup and click on Territory Management. You can replicate your role hierarchy as territories or start from scratch. Take a look at the existing territories. In this example, Zillum Incorporated has territories in America, Asia Pacific, and Europe and Middle East. Within each territory, there is a subterritory and a territory manager. To create a new territory, click on Plus New Territory, name it, and select one of your users as the manager. The manager of the territory has the ability to add, edit, and delete within the territory itself. Now select which users have access to the territory. These users can have either read-only or read-write privileges. If this is a sub-territory, also select the parent territory. Add criteria to determine what sort of filters are needed to segment the territory. In this example, we are going to create a territory called Australia, so the criteria will be when shipping country is Australia. You may also choose to write a description for the territory. Repeat this process till all of your territories have been created. You may now go back and assign your existing accounts to the territory. In order to do this, click on Assign Territories. Search for your accounts by a custom view and then assign them to a territory. Once the rule has been run, you will receive an email notification. If you need to reassign accounts to a new territory, search for accounts by the original territory, run the rule again, and you will receive another email notification once this is complete. Let's go back to the Accounts tab. You can now view your accounts by territory by using the new drop-down menu next to the Views. You can now also set forecasts by territory. First thing you need to do is set goals for each region. Navigate to the Forecast tab and click on Create Forecast. Select the parent territory, fiscal month or fiscal quarter, and the year. Now set the target goal for each territory and subterritory and click Save. You will now see a chart that shows the targets for each territory and how close you are to achieving your goal. This column will show you the amount in your pipeline. The next column shows the percent of the target that has already been achieved. The last column shows if that there is a shortage in your pipeline. You could also run reports and create dashboards by territory. Navigate to the Reports tab and you can view any of the new predefined territory reports or create one from scratch. In the Dashboards module, you will also see a territory dashboard that can be further customized. We have now seen how to segment your accounts by territory and use the forecasting feature. I hope you found this video helpful.